Welcome to this edition of INN CEO Talks. Joining me today is Anthony Tennyson, the CEO of Awaken Life Sciences, which trades on the NEO exchange under the symbol AWKN and on the OTC Pink under the symbol AWKNF. Awaken is a biotechnology company with clinical operations which are developing and delivering psychedelic medications to treat addiction first in the UK and then in the EU. The company just announced it has signed a 10-year lease to open Awaken Clinics London, a psychedelic-focused therapy center to treat addiction and other mental health conditions. The London facility will be a 5,000 square foot, eight treatment room clinic, which will be delivering psychedelic assisted psychotherapy treatments such as ketamine assisted therapies. The company is meeting the needs of a growing global population that is suffering from addiction, including alcohol and other mental health conditions. According to the report, Global Burden of Disease, mental health illnesses and addictions are the fifth leading cause of illness, affecting about 20% of the global population. Joining me now is Anthony Tennyson, the CEO of Awaken Life Sciences. Anthony. Welcome to INN CEO Talks. Thank you very much, Stuart. It's an absolute pleasure to be here to speak with you and to your audience as well. You know, Anthony, I'm keen to know a little bit more about Awakening Life Sciences and exactly what it is that you do. You know, I touched on it in the intro, but tell, give us a greater insight into the company and the services that you're delivering. Uh, more than happy to. Um, so in Awaken Life Sciences, we're a biotechnology company we're focused on developing and delivering medicines to better treat addiction. So we treat two types of addiction, substance addiction and also behavior addiction. It is a debilitating disease and condition. It is the single biggest unmet medical need of modern times. About 15 to 20 percent of the global adult population, so that's a fifth of the global adult population, are affected by substance addiction. So that's about 800 million to 1.2 billion people. There's another quarter of the American adult population suffer from a behavioral addiction. So those are addictions like gambling, pornography, uh, eating, overworking. Um, and the, the, the current treatments available for those conditions are just simply not that good. And so what we're doing is we are developing the next generation of better treatments for those conditions. So we're taking a radical approach to how to treat addiction. We are developing drugs and therapies to better treat those substance addictions like alcohol, tobacco, prescription drugs, and also those behavioral addictions that I mentioned, like gambling, pornography, uh, and sex. Uh, and what we're doing is we're doing both the development and the delivery. So developing those therapies and those medicines, but also delivering those therapies and medicines in clinics that we'll own and operate across the UK and EU, but also through licensing partnerships into North America. So we really believe we are at the cutting edge of taking a revolutionary approach to treating one of the single biggest unmet medical needs of our time. But unlike most biotechnology companies, not only do we have a significant pipeline of medicines and therapies, but we've got near-term revenue coming in this financial year and all subsequent financial years from our clinics and our partnerships ecosystem as well. So what is the regulatory environment like in the UK and the EU that allows you to be able to deliver uh, ketamine-based uh, treatments? In other words, using a psychedelic to help to rewire uh, the brains of uh, people who are suffering from addiction or mental, uh, mental illness. Because, you know, it's important to know that in that regulatory environment, you can do this work and continue to expand the research. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, like I said, we do two things. We do development and we do delivery. So while we're working hard to develop those therapies and those medicines, so that therapeutics package to better treat addiction and the medicines that we're developing disrupt those brain circuits that you mentioned before that house the impulsivity, the compulsivity and the craving and the therapies enable people to understand why they were exhibiting those addictive behaviors and recover from them. At the same time as we're doing that development work, we're also delivering those services 
in clinics in the UK and then also across Europe. The regulatory environment that enables us to do that is the fact that ketamine is a Schedule 2 compound in the UK and between Schedule 2 and 3 in the EU. Ketamine is actually one of the most commonly used medicines or painkillers in A&E units in the UK, Ireland and the EU. Um, so it's a commonly understood medicine. Because our clinics are led by psychiatrists, our doctors are permitted under UK and EU rules to prescribe ketamine off-label. So we are fully permitted to prescribe ketamine and to administer it to treat addiction like alcohol, gambling, pornography, but also other mental health conditions like anxiety, depression and PTSD. You know, I find it interesting that like you talk about that it is delivered by a psychiatrist who has the medical and uh, and uh, training that's required to be able to say, yeah, here is the drug, but it's not just the drug. It's that interaction between the patient, the psychiatrist, and the use of the drug that helps them to uh, rewire their brains. How important is it that you have that combination between drug and psychiatrist not only in the delivery, but also in your business model? Well, that's it. Listen, that, that is a great question. And that is core to how psychedelics are different. How psychedelic assisted psychotherapy is different from any other approach that has gone before in treating addiction and mental health. And those treatments for addiction and mental health are less than effective. If we take alcohol use disorder, for example, it affects 5% of the adult population of the planet. Uh, treatment rates are low, only 16% of people who have, who have this disorder seek treatment and success rates are not great. There's about a 70% failure rate within the first 12 months. And that's the same across other addiction treatments and it's similar but not as bad in mental health treatment. And the reason for that is the methodology used to date has been suboptimal. It tends to be either psychiatry or psychology working separately. Psychology, prescribe, send home, not address the underlying root cause issues, or psychiatry, psychology, I beg your pardon, which is talk therapy. Psychedelics, psychedelic assisted psychotherapy is different. It is revolutionary. And four things are required to be delivered in concert for psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to work. That is the compound, the therapy, the therapist, and the clinical environment all of which are specifically designed to improve the probability of success. And that is why we work across both development and delivery. So we are developing those compounds, we are developing those therapies, and then we are delivering that therapy by training therapists and employing therapists, and we're owning the clinical, the clinical environment. And so that is exactly what we're doing in London with the clinic that we just signed the lease for. It's what we'll be doing in Bristol, and Manchester as we open up our first three of 20 clinics in the UK this year, treating people with proprietary therapy, proprietary or compounds, well-trained staff in a specifically designed clinical environment. So that's the goal, 20 uh, clinics in the UK. And then what are your uh, plans moving into the EU? Yeah, so, so it's 20 clinics across the UK and the EU oh, by the end okay. of 2024. It's absolutely no problem. Um, so the goal is to have three clinics open this financial year, another five clinics in the UK next financial year, so eight in total in the UK and Ireland. And then we move into continental Europe from 2023 onwards, operating in a hub and spoke model into the Nordics, into Benelux, so Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, Iberia, uh, Spain, and Portugal, and then over into DAC, which is Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Each clinic is capable of generating 3.5 to 5 million sterling top line. Um, and the great advantage then of that business model is the fact that we've got the clinics that are generating revenue in the immediate term, as we're also developing those medicines and therapies. So it's a very, very unique proposition that we're developing here which is a biotechnology company with all the absolute future potential of a biotech company developing medicines to treat a condition that affects anywhere up to 47% of the American adult population across substance and behavioral addictions. Now, while we're executing on that development plan, we've also got a revenue generating business as well through our clinics 
providing us with free cash flow at the business unit level to support the rest of our research activity. You're also involved in ongoing studies. Uh, you've got a gambling study that's underway, the first of its kind right now. Does that then also give you, uh, you know, intellectual property advantage that anybody else who might be entering this field would uh, be, well, there'd be distance between you and them because you would have uh, greater insights and, and, and uh, better research? That's, that's also a fantastic question. Um, so yeah, we, are, we, are, we have a number of work streams active in our development or our research program. The core purpose of everything that we're doing in our research is to create defendable IP. So we're working with ketamine in the near term and MDMA in the medium term to develop those therapies that I mentioned as part of our therapeutics package. And then we are also working long term to develop our own medicines and our own new, not new chemical entities which are the medicines element of that therapeutics package. Everything we're doing with the new chemical entity development program is about creating novel patentable molecules that do exactly what we want them to do, but we have full freedom to operate with. What we're working on with MDMA, we've got a, we've got a phase 2B clinical trial uh, that we should be securing ethics approval from the MHRA in the UK in Q4 of this year which is part of a research program to secure marketing authorization for MDMA to treat alcohol use disorder in the UK and EU, which is a 400 million person territory. And that is all about getting to market first and securing a marketing and a commercial advantage. Because the great thing about the UK and the EU, Stuart, is if you get there first, you have 10 years regulatory protection in the UK, EU. You only have five in the US. And then we're working near term with ketamine to develop again those therapies. But the great advantage of ketamine is it's an immediate term commercial opportunity. We can earn revenue from our research from ketamine today. We have acquired the IP from the world's only clinical trial for ketamine as an intervention to treat alcohol use disorder. It was a phase 2AB trial. Because ketamine is Schedule 2 in the UK, Schedule 3 in the UK, EU, we can earn money from that Phase 2 trial immediately. You're in a pretty exciting position as far as a company, but also in the position in the, uh, the ability of your clinics to offer help and hope to a lot of people who have been struggling with these conditions for a long time. You know, Anthony, I feel like I want to keep talking to you about how this works. Unfortunately, we're out of time, and I'm hoping that I can get you to come back in a few months so that you can give us an update on, on uh, the progress that you're making. Sure, I, absolutely. I would be delighted to come back on. And just with your last comment there, you've hit the nail on the head, right? Our core purpose as a company, it's to democratize psychedelics and psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy so that we can help as many people as possible. And democratization, that's why we're investing in those clinical trials, because we want to secure on-label use so that people can access this through the public health care system, this side of the water, and through the insurance policies, your side of the water. Um, so we're absolutely fully committed to helping people, and it would be an absolute pleasure to come back on and give you an update in a couple of months' time. Wonderful. I wish you great success. Thanks. Thank you.